Welcome back, everybody, to another Cedar Flags, where in this episode, we yet again don't get as much done as I thought we were going to. Yes, it seems that I pretty much overestimate a lot of the work that we have going on around this station building, but when it's eventually done, it's going to be great, I'm, I promise. No, uh, we have this episode, we're, I think, only doing, well, mostly all we're doing is in the front of the new station. Uh, we still have to do the backside of the station and then a lot of the nature work that'll be around the coaster itself. And then we'll finally be able to do a nice little promo video for the ride and we'll get you guys the POV of the ride itself. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of a process here, but no, we uh, start off here by working on this Q path that is kind of hovering on the outside of the building, this little overhang. We needed a way to support this. So what we did is just grabbed a couple logs, put them in a triangular fashion, and created a fairly sturdy looking support structure for our cool little path over here. I'm really excited to see actual like people on this. It's gonna be really cool. It'd be one of those queues that you go in and part of you would be like really mad that it's a long queue, but the other part of you is kind of excited about the journey that you're taking throughout the queue itself. So yes, I'm looking forward to that, but we put probably a little too much detail into these little overhang supports. As you can see, there's a lot of bracing going on. There's actually a lot of cast iron holding all of this together. I realize now that probably no one will ever see that, just that tiny little detail work, but I felt like we needed to do something down there just because I don't know, it, it needed it. So yes, we worked on that a little bit. And then of course, originally I was planning on actually doing almost all of the scenery work around this area. So we're going into the back and we are rerouting this entire queue and making it a little bit more of a scenic route almost, but then we kind of abandoned it. Uh, we're gonna have to go through and do that in the next episode. And then while I'm on the topic of episodes, the following episode, we're basically just going to be doing the nature work around the ride, and then we'll be ready for that POV. So it's a little ways off, but we're still chipping away at it. But no, anyway, we're still working a little bit within this section of the queue, and then we end up trying to get some of the nature work started back here, and then eventually we're going to actually, I guess, abandon this entire like nature work and go work on a little bit something extra, or not extra. You'll see when we get there, but no. Um, I wanted to maybe vary the terrain a little bit here, and then of course, as my Twitch chat loves, we're doing some rock work. Yes, we have a lot of rock work that has to be done here. I'm trying to not be as picky when it comes to this kind of stuff, especially because none of the actual guests are going to be like looking so much at this rock work. You're really only gonna be seeing it when you're on the ride and you're gonna be looking over it in the queue, so it's not super important, but it, I guess it's still kind of important. Uh, I originally had just planned on varying the terrain a little bit there, but I looked at it and I was like, this could be kind of a cool little lagoon type situation. I don't know if that's the correct word, but uh, yes, we end up putting some water and connecting up the water a little bit there, and I think it looks pretty good, but no, this is pretty much the main point of this time lapse and this is the front of the station building where we are building yet another building that that was a lot of saying building there but no we needed something because the plan was to have some on-ride photos and I, I use quotes there because we don't actually have on-ride photos yet in the game but we need a little area for us to sell those and again I use air quotes for sell but no, we're gonna end up putting a building in there. We're going to theme it a little bit to match the station. And then eventually we'll be putting some TVs up that will have pictures of like fake on-ride photos. So I'm hoping that it's gonna work pretty well here. But before we do all that, of course, you've been watching me go ahead and recolor the ride. It's now blue. Someone had suggested white because of the whole like ski lodge kind of feel that we have going on here. But I felt like a white coaster wasn't as eye-catching, maybe. It would kind of just get lost in the sky. I, I guess I'm saying this as I've made the coaster blue, but no. I, I felt like blue was more of like a traditional arrow kind of feel of a coaster. So we went with blue, and we will, 
I, I don't know. We had to go in and adjust all of those support structures there. I felt like it fit the theme of everything a little bit better there than the red, although the red is kind of iconic for like an arrow design. But no, I think it looks pretty good. But anyway, we're bouncing back over to our little photo shack or hut or whatever you want to call it there. Um, we build basically a simple structure. And I'll be honest, when I was going into this build, I was in my mind, I just had a completely different idea. And then I did a lot of this part on stream and someone in the Twitch chat actually recommended, they, they posted a link and they recommended a building to use as a reference point. And normally when people send you something on Twitch, it's never what you expect. But this time it actually was pretty cool because it was a really good reference photo. So we're using that same style with like the A-frame hut kind of feel. And we're just going in and kind of matching the same style that we had with the original station building and making a few minor modifications. You're not going to see any glass or like windows in this. And it's basically just minimalist and it's really just there for a function over form, I guess. So it's, it's pretty cool. But uh, the original placement was a little bit weird. I had to, of course, redo where it was and really just get all the spacing out for that path that's really awesome i love how it kind of goes under the arch or under the roof itself and it's going to be pretty cool to see people kind of walking through there and we're going to be putting a memorabilia shop in there and we're going to be seeing people actually go in and purchase things there so that's going to be kind of cool hopefully but um we're just doing a little bit of decorating on the face of this this is the the money shot if you will here where this is where all the people are going to see it and we needed to add a little bit of something in here because like i said there are no windows in this top part of the building so i, I actually went through and i did a little bit of like a detail work with these uh the same wooden logs that we've been using throughout the build i honestly like this a lot and i guess i don't know when i first was imagining the station itself i think i was more imagining this kind of detail work on it instead of just the square with the windows but after we built all the windows and stuff it looked pretty decent so we kept it but i guess this just to vary it up a little bit we're using more of like a i guess traditional if you want to say I, I i really have no idea sometimes i i i build on these themes and i have no idea what they're called but i know i've seen them somewhere so if anybody corrects me i'm not gonna like fault you for correcting me but um, no, this is actually one of my favorite things for some reason was putting these TVs on that little There was like a little slight angle on one of the trim pieces up there and the TV snapped right to it And it was like perfect. It was great So on the middle TV there we're gonna actually have the logo for the ride Which I still have yet to draft up but on the other two TVs We're going to have fake on ride photos displayed so people will walk up and it's usually you get like two sets of them, so you, you, like the the previous train will still be there as you get there, just so people have you know time to get over there and see if they want to purchase a photo. And so yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool when we get it all done. That's gonna come probably for the promo video itself. We're gonna have to do that. So I need to actually have people on the ride to you know snap the on ride photos and actually you know do the Photoshop stuff for all of that. So it'll be kind of cool when we get that all done. But what we're doing just to finish up this area a little bit here is more of the landscaping. And I feel like I'm just a virtual landscaper in this game sometimes because it, it just eats up so much time, you know? And when I was looking at this space that we have in front of this building, it was kind of like a nice space. I was thinking maybe we could do like a sign for the ride in this space. And then I, I was looking at it and I, was, I didn't really want to like block the view to the shops that we have there or the shop or the on ride photos or whatever you, whatever you want to say. I didn't want to block that. So what we're doing is just putting a little planter bed in there. And when I set out to do this, I was thinking, you know, I don't want to do like the same thing I've been doing throughout the entire park. You know, I just wanted to maybe vary it up a little bit, but as you can see, it turned into basically the same thing we've been doing throughout the entire park. So I think when we move on to the next area of the park, we're going to have to try to expand out a little bit and try to do different things with the scenery work here and there. But I tried to vary this up a little bit. You'll see the rocks don't actually like come all the way out to the path work, which we've done a lot of in the past here. Uh, there's a little bit of like an interesting like line on the edge of the planter bed there. And of course we get some of those new flowers that we got. 
and those are in there nicely and they're blue to match the new ride so I think it, it varies it up a little bit while still keeping a lot of the same influence which I guess is a good thing but like I said I definitely want to start trying to branch out and start trying new things here and there so uh, that'll come in time when we, you know, work our way throughout the park and start to do other things. Although, I guess that's up for debate. We could always... Uh, I I think we're just going to see where the flow of the park takes us at this point. I'm not going to, like, try to plan out anything. I, I don't think I want to do, like, a pirate area in this park. Maybe in, like, a future build we'll do, like, a pirate-type park or something like that. But I don't know. There's just been a lot of, uh, of, a lot of landscaping you've been watching here. A lot of this I'm actually speeding up even more because it's basically the same thing and I've been trying to just copy and paste elements. I've, I've been trying to get better at doing that and that is just copying and pasting exactly what you have already, turning it a little bit, tweaking it to spec or whatever you want to say, and then getting that all kind of laid out in a more interesting way but saving time in the meantime. Uh, what we're going to be doing right now is working on some of the back lot type stuff for this ride. Now. I've always said that I wanted to do a transfer track on this coaster. I think we have enough space. There may be a little bit of modification that has to be done to some of the early work that we did in this time lapse to try to get this to work. But I think we have enough space and we're just laying down this little concrete pad here just to get like the framework set out. So the transfer track is going to be back there. Obviously we needed some sort of way for like our maintenance people to get to that. So what we're what we did is connect up this main path to this little concrete pad area that we have going on. And then what we're going to be doing is connecting up the little path that we had planned out for like a maintenance shed or a shop or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're connecting that up to the concrete that we just laid down. So it's kind of tying things together. And of course, I always wanted to block some of the view of the, like the backstage stuff. So putting more of this planter bed out there, trying to obscure that view as much as we can without, like, obviously doing so, I guess. And I think we get it to a point where it's pretty good. Um, I actually had to change the path layout a little bit from the original plan. You see the garbage truck there. I was just trying to make sure we had, like, actual clearance on the ride to make sure we're not making something super unrealistic. But as I was watching, or as I was looking at that path that we just put, I was thinking maybe it'd be kind of too tight of a turn for trucks to go on that little concrete pad and then turn down this asphalt path. So what we did is actually added a second offshoot of this path. So it's it's kind of cool, this little back area. It's gonna be really cool when we get all of that done, but that'll be a project in the future at some point. That'll probably be the next project, I would say, after this ride is done. And then of course, we still have a lot of flat rides that we have to put in, but I don't know. I guess we'll talk about this more in the live portion, which we are approaching very quickly here. Um, we're just basically putting in a few more of these trees and getting that all wrapped up. So guys, I will turn it over to the live me and we'll go through what we just did in this build. All right, guys, we are live in Cedar Flags, just outside of the work that we were doing in the time lapse and when you get to the live portion, it always seems like we really didn't do too much. Why did it take so long? And, you know, it's just the little things here and there. It takes a while to get it done. So, yes, um, we have this beautiful little building here. It's a little hut. It's nothing like super crazy or detailed, but it honestly adds so much when you look like when you're coming down this main path. And you see that building it just adds like a whole new dimension just because it's on like that slight bit of an angle to the main station and it looks so good so yes i i really really enjoy this little plaza what we have going on here i still have yet to decide what's going on on the other side of this but i'm sure it's going to be awesome this little part of the park is shaping up to be kind of one of my favorites and i, I keep saying that uh, with like every new part of the park that we make but I don't know, it, it just kept, it just, it's true every time. Uh, yes, so we have our little billboards that are up here. I really like, so in the game, they give us like basically a 1920 by 1080 screen, like a TV dimension. 
but I really enjoy having like multiple screens tied together. So we're going to be doing something kind of cool with the logo. Hopefully it fits on this for the new ride. I still have yet to spoil the name in a YouTube video, but on stream we say it all the time. So if you really need to know, I guess try to catch one of our live streams. So as you look to the left of our station here, we got some of these trees in here. Again, this was always intended to basically just block out what's going to be down over here, and that is our maintenance area. Uh, it's the back lot area. So I'm honestly pretty excited to see how this all pans out and how we're going to kind of hide all of that. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to connect these paths. So we're probably going to do another pad of concrete to connect, I use air quotes a lot, even though you guys can't see me. Um, we're gonna connect these with a, a nice slab roof so people aren't walking back there and doing whatever they need to do. Just because, I guess, I, I don't know, I guess we do technically have barriers, so I guess that is an option. So we'll look into that as well. It might look a little bit better too, but I still just don't want people even thinking they want to walk back to that area just because that's not an area for them to go. But as we pan around to the back side, we still have obviously a lot of work to do. This will be the next episode. I'm still not entirely sure what to put in here. So if any of you guys have suggestions, let me know because this is kind of like a great spot for something of interest. I just have no creative ideas right now. So definitely let me know if you have any idea to put something there that could be kind of cool. Um, maybe like a, an outdoor fire pit or something. I, I don't know. We'll figure something out. I'm sure you guys will have some awesome suggestions. But yes, this is the final little part of the build and it's just a little nature area that is I, probably a little too detailed for what it is, to be honest with you. I like having the water kind of rush in here a little bit. We may do a little bit more. I still have yet to shape that, but we, we have a little lagoon here. I think it ties this area together a lot too. And, I don't know, then again, we could always, like, knock out all of this, but I did want to keep kind of the, the train track on its, on ground still, so I didn't want to do, like, a floating train track too much there, so that is kind of what that is, but yes, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode, like I said, it always seems like we do a lot more in the time lapse, there's just a lot of nitpicky nitty gritty things that we have to get in and do and it takes a while but yes like i said next episode will be out in the back side of this station doing all of that and we're getting really close to getting all of this done so guys i hope you're still excited thumbs up if you are thumbs down if you hated this one and if you guys got a second go ahead and check out my patreon page and if you have a few extra dollars a month you can get your name in the credits here on these videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.